Good, good evening. We are convening the uh, zoning, uh, the Cape Elizabeth Zoning Board meeting for the evening of Tuesday, August 28th. We have one item on the agenda. We have a couple of uh, different versions of minutes to approve. Um, I, I guess that will suffice as a call to order. Uh, the next agenda item, as I mentioned, is approving the minutes, and we have uh, minutes from May 22nd and June 26th. And I believe, John, there may be an amendment to yep. one of those set of min yep. minutes. Uh, the 26th. Okay. And what was that? Uh, on the last page, page 9, uh, it says that I abstained. I didn't. I voted against it. Okay. Okay. So we can view that as a as a friendly amendment. Uh, and Correct. are there any objections to approving the minutes uh, with that friendly amendment from John? No objection here. Okay. No. All in favor? All right. Very good. Minutes are approved for both May 22nd and June 26th with the friendly uh, amendment as, as referenced by John Crayford. Just a quick question. Are we okay with having three of the members from that meeting here? Yes. Okay. Right. Work for you guys? Yep. Okay. Yep, because all four of us work here. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, so then we move on to old business, which is none, and new business. Uh, moving rapidly through the agenda, <laughs> we will hear the request of Melissa S. Anderson. I suspect that is one of the two of you. <laughs> owner, owner of the property at 24 Meadow Way, map U21 lot 115 to expand a non-conforming single family dwelling. And I, I think this is a deck porch issue and I will uh, invite you forward to speak. Uh, I, will, I will first turn to uh, our code enforcement officer, Ben McDougall, to, to outline the, uh, the issues here. Sure. The applicant came in with a building permit to do a farmer's porch on the front of her house. Uh, once we dug into setback issues, we found that a, a full length farmer's porch, uh, she originally wanted to stay out the 6.5 feet that her original porch is and just go straight across the front of the house. Mm -hmm. And we found that that would create a setback issue. So I explained the process that if she wanted to keep the six, six and a half feet, she would need a variance, or she could pull back a little bit, not get any closer to the line and seek this type of approval, uh, or, uh, or she could pull back and do something small with the limited amount of space she has and uh, not need a zoning board approval, but that would only be about three feet, which isn't much of a porch. That's a narrow porch. <laughs> yeah. Very narrow. All right. Uh, well, uh, Melissa, we'll turn it over to you and, and uh, I'll allow you the opportunity to uh, ex explain what, you, what you'd like us to do here. bringing it up the full 6.5 and then expanding the whole front of the house. Um, if, it, if it can help me to get approval, then I was going to go back a foot to 5.5, um, which is still fine. Um, I'd still like to go the length of the house. Um, and there are several like that in the neighborhood um, that I really like the look of. Um, and that's what I'd like to do. <laughs> it's really pretty simple. <laughs> Um, as you can see, I did have a site survey done uh, so that we couldn't determine where our property, where our property lines were. Um, so we had a site survey done so we could at least figure out where the property lines were in the front, which is what's important. I think so. Um, so we had that done by Sproul survey, and um, he did draw this one a little down for, for us, so we can determine that. Um, so. I guess I'm just asking permission to have um, my proposal accepted for the 5.5 feet out and then 29 feet to the front of the house. 
and it would just be a covered porch, um, not enclosed. Farmer's porch sort of thing? Farmer's porch. Okay. Yeah. I apologize, I would have included pictures. Um, with, with the original application that we, we submitted, it did have some pictures in it, as it was a picture of a porch just like in the neighborhood, but I didn't realize um, this, there's a wonderful little checklist <laughs> for um, to prepare for this meeting, and I didn't get it until the day of the, that I actually submitted the the um, packet that you have. So I didn't. I, I didn't realize that I could have put photos as well with this particular packet. So I apologize for that. Um. Any questions for the applicant as we sit here? Um, I've got a couple. Uh, are, are you proposing to have the entire farmer's porch be five and a half feet or have the yes. existing portion of six and a half feet stay and then kind of no. jut in? I want to, I need to redo that porch anyway. Okay. The, the existing porch, um, it's driving me crazy. I just need to get that, that changed as well. So we're going to do the whole thing at, at five and a half. Okay. Um, and, and what is the foundation for the existing porch? If you know, concrete. is it just concrete? Yeah. yeah, like concrete footing, concrete yeah. porch. Okay. Oh, for the the porch, the existing. Porch? The existing porch, yes. Yeah, it's just the, the tubes, the sawmill tubes. Okay. It's not concrete. It's not. You know, it's not like the foundation of the house. It's just the sawmill tubes. Okay. Yeah, is that what you mean? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm assuming. I think that's what he plans to do as well. Okay. For continuing. I have questions. Um, one is for, I guess, Ben, but just to clear up, steps don't count in setbacks? Uh, te technically, it, it depends how they're built. Uh, surveyors never show steps as they relate to setbacks. Okay. Well, these steps... appear to me are kind of important in the, the issue before us today, in fact. Yeah. Well, it's also an important issue because do we want to be seeing a lot of variances here when someone needs one or two steps to get out of their house for an egress issue? So, okay, let me, <laughs> let me back up and we can come back to that if we need to. Okay. Um, it certainly appears to me that because of the curvature of the road, that the 5.5 um, width of the porch still increases your setback problem. Isn't that correct? I, I'm not sure what I would propose if, if the zoning board it decides to approve this is that the surveyor confirms that the resulting porch is not getting closer to the front property line. Okay. And that that, would, that uh, would solve that question because we, it's very difficult to answer that question on this sheet of paper. Well, I'm, I understand, but that's kind of the key question. Right. Right? I, I think with what's represented here, I, I don't think you could say for sure that it does. I think pulling, pulling it back a foot, I think this may be accurate, but it's very close. Okay. So um, the concern being expanding, okay, but you expanding will, can, the non-conformity. You, you will confirm that with with the surveyor, is that what you I, I think the zoning board should make that a condition of approval okay. If, okay. if you choose to approve, but you're measuring. I understand. You know, that point there to there versus that point there to there. All right. Yeah. And, uh, and if, right. You, if you put, if you do those two measurements and put a scale on it, I mean, they're, they're imperceptibly, if they're different, they're almost imperceptibly different if you measure those two distances. Okay, well, that's great. I mean, I just, I guess I would agree with the condition. Okay. <laughs> um, and obviously, or not obviously, but then 
Right, so if the steps do not count as the setback, then it's close. Yes. Okay. So, so question, another question for you, Ben, is if, so the idea is to, that we can't be increasing the nonconformity. That's correct. So, and obviously, if, if it's going to come on the right side of the house, uh, we're looking at uh, apparently 3.1 3 3 3 feet. Um, is it 3 foot, 3 .1 or is it 3 foot 1 inch? 3.1. 3.1 feet, okay. So, certainly a five and a half. Judging from the 5.5, .5, which she says is five and a half. Yeah, a five and a half will go over that right. if it's correct by yeah. 1.4 feet. Yes, okay, exactly. but the idea here is that currently the current porch goes over the line by 1.4, 1.5 feet or whatever. So we're not actually increasing the nonconformity. Exactly. Okay, okay, so we're taking that. Usually when we deal with these, these issues, we're looking at a straight sideline and we're just going back and going al along it. But because of the curvature of this, it kind of yeah, it's hard to set up a little bit. But I, I get the concept now, so I'm, I'm, good, I'm good. Right. Thank you. Additional questions for our applicant? Let me ask a follow-up question. Assuming we're going to make that a condition, which I would For me, as a requirement, um, maybe I'll wait till we go on. I have another question, but it's in conjunction with that condition. Okay. All right. I, I, I note that um, part of our criteria is looking at you know septic considerations. Obviously, that is not an issue here. Um, on-site soils, uh, impact on views, type and amount of vegetation, um, and this is all per, per Cape Ordinance. No, that seems to be an issue here. Um, I, I have one follow-up to to John's yeah. follow-up. Um, are are you proposing to keep or add the steps to this porch in the same place? Okay, so right in right in front there. Okay, in the same number and yeah. and height of each. Okay, thanks. So you get me thinking about those things. <laughs> well, again, I think I think if I understood Ben's point, um, it's like we really don't want to include steps in the setback because we don't want to we don't want people to be compromising the safety of the number of steps in order to try to squeeze in setbacks. Was that essentially what you were saying? Yes. Okay. But, but I also think if, if it's a substantial set of steps, if you've got ten, right. 10 steps going down to the ground, eight feet wide, that is, that, that's something that would need to meet setbacks. Well, again, here, ironically enough, if the steps are indeed considered, then the current setback is potentially quite easily cleared if we just modify the steps. Well, yes, that's it's a double-edged <laughs> sword. Well, we have to do it. <laughs> right? Right. Okay. But, but so, to be clear, it sounds as though the steps will remain the same, so we are not increasing the nonconformity. It's the same steps. Correct. Okay. Okay. I know I have a nice brick walkway, but there I don't want to have to move the steps. You don't want to mess with that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good. Got it. Got it. Uh, other questions for the applicant? Now's your chance, John. No, I think those were those were the issues. It, the, the curvature is uh, a trick, and the steps either solve it or make it worse. Um, it's just it's a slightly interesting situation. This provision of the ordinance comes up quite frequently, and it's like, oh yeah, it's the same. We've had them where the line wasn't quite But sometimes, the floor, sometimes they throw you a curve. What's that? But sometimes they throw you a curve. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes, well, yes. We, we, we see this one come up uh, almost every meeting, I think. So, anyway. Um, Thank you. All right, very good. Any further questions for the applicant at this stage? Right. Hearing nothing further, I will open the floodgates and let everybody in, who is in opposition to this come forward and speak. Or in support. 
Uh, yeah, or, or in support, exactly, exactly. And, 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 and hearing nothing further, did you get any pub any comment via email or? No, I didn't. Otherwise, okay, okay. So I think we can safely then, if, the, if uh, this is the board's uh, wish, we can go ahead and close the public hearing and, and engage in discussion about the application. Uh, it, it seems to me that the criteria within the ordinance have, have been met by Ms. Anderson. Um, and I, I personally uh, am certainly in favor of, of approving the application, but I would be happy to hear from the uh, other members of the board as to, as to what the wishes, wishes of the board are. I'm sorry? I'm sorry. Um, I have no further discussion. I don't think I'm prepared to make a motion. Okay. I'm, I'm in Let's support, so yeah. I would move that we accept this subject to uh, the surveyor confirming that the um, 5.5. <laughs> All right. So, so I, uh, so, so the, I, I think the motion is to uh, no. approve the request of Melissa S. Anderson, owner of the property at 24 Meadow Way. Map U21 lot 115 to expand a non conforming single family dwelling based on section 19 4 3.b.4 of the zoning ordinance, contingent upon verification that the porch is no closer to the front property line. Does that sound right? Yeah, that the porch does not. I, I'm happy to entertain friendly amendments. So, if I need to clean I would just up say that, that, that the have... portion of the porch which is currently closest to the property line, okay. uh, that that distance is <laughs> not exceeded <laughs> How about, yeah, by the new just, porch. How about okay. that? Why don't, that the, that the um, setback incursion is not increased. Okay. The surveyor must yeah. verify. A surveyor must verify that the setback incursion is not increased. So Ms. Anderson, that means you need to bring your surveyor in and just verify that. He'll shoot the line, he or she will shoot the line, and, and it should be a quick uh, operation, but you'll definitely want to obviously need to check that box. As part of this process, if 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 the motion carries, assuming the motion carries, <laughs> although I don't know, I'm feeling pretty good right now. I think we're going to get it through. Um, all right, so that was the the friendly amendment yes. uh, to to your motion. John John moved yep. for approval. Yeah. With the uh, uh, contingent yep. upon the amendment yep. amendment with the friendly amendment. Uh, further discussion. Any further discussion on the motion? Nothing further. All right. Do we need to talk about what happens if it doesn't work? Are you going to fix then, it? The, then, fix then, it then, we, then Ben gets to deal with it, and, he's back <laughs> office and, and we may okay. or may not hear more about it. But if there's, okay. a, yeah, if there's a problem, Ben gets to deal with it. Okay. I, I think if it turns out to be 5.4 or 5.3 feet instead of 5.5, then that's what will happen. Would it, yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe there's a. There's a way to make those sides come in a little bit in order to satisfy it. Con contractors have a have a way of, yep. working making out. that work. Good. All right. Uh, well then, uh, hearing no further conversation, no further discussion <laughs> on the motion. Uh, all in favor? That is unanimous. The motion carries. And uh, thank you, Ms. Anderson, for coming in. And good luck with the farmer's porch. Enjoy. Yes. Enjoy it. Well, we have to. Yes. Okay. Yes. Do we need to make a separate finding of fact. Did we do that? No, oh, we do need to do that. Yeah, we do need to do the findings of fact. Yeah. But, you, but you can you can uh, continue your conversations directly with Ben. Okay. He, he's going to be your point of contact, and he will. Uh, if, if there are any further issues, I'm sure we'll hear about it. But I suspect there will be none, and I suspect that you will be um, lounging on your farmer's porch for. Uh, <laughs> very good. Very good. <laughs> I think we are. You can take a seat. We'll do the findings of fact. And if you have any questions or concerns, let us know. But uh, I think we'll, we'll run through this relatively quickly. Uh, thank you. There we go. 
All right, so uh, proposed findings of fact. Uh, the property is a non-conforming lot. Uh, proposed finding one, the property is a non-conforming lot in the RC zone. There is an existing single family dwelling on the property. Uh, proposed finding two, the Zoning Board of Appeals has considered the size of the lot, the slope of the land, the potential for soil erosion, the location of other structures on the property, and on adjacent properties, the impact of views and the type and amount of vegetation to be removed uh, to accomplish the relocation. Proposed finding three, the proposed structure will not increase the non-conformity non of the existing structure. And proposed finding four, the proposed structure is in compliance with the setback requirement to the greatest practical extent. And we have an additional, I think, proposed finding. What do you want to make it a condition or a finding? It's up to you. Okay, yeah, so, so a, a, a condition, I should say, uh, that a surveyor must verify that the, that the setback incursion is, is not increased um, from, from the existing uh, incursion. That all sound about right? Yes, yep. sounds all right. right. Just, uh, so so I, uh, I seek a motion then to approve those proposed findings. So moved. I'll second it. Kevin's got it, John's got the second. Conversation about the proposed findings. Discussion? Nope. Hearing nothing further, all in favor? Very good. Thank you, folks. <laughs> Enjoy. And, uh, and I think that concludes it. We have nothing further on our agenda. On our agenda. We will move forward to uh, Labor Day, and, and thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night.